Firstly, what exactly is organic chemistry? Organic chemistry is the study of compounds containing carbon. This includes hydrocarbons. What are hydrocarbons? A hydrocarbon is a compound that consists of carbon and hydrogen only. Emphasis on the word only since a hydrocarbon does not consist of any other element. Some examples include methane, ethene, butane and so on. Now let's see how we show the formula of organic molecules. There are several ways to depict this formula. Let's start with displayed formula. Displayed formula shows all the bonds for the molecule. This is the displayed formula for the molecule ethane. Next is condensed formula. This, as the name suggests, does not show all the bonds but instead focuses on the connectivity of the atoms. This is the same ethane molecule shown through a condensed formula. So let's say that there is a double bond between two carbon atoms. Here's how you would show it. Displayed and condensed formula could also be referred to as a structural formula. The third way would be through a molecular formula. Molecular formula shows the number of atoms in the molecule. Going back to ethane, here's its molecular formula. An empirical formula shows the molecules in its smallest ratio. Ethane is C2H6. When it is shown as an empirical formula, it is CH3. Taking another example is propane, C3H8. What is its empirical formula? C3H8. It is already in the smallest ratio, so no more simplification is needed. The last method for formula is general formula. But before we talk about that, you should know what a homologous series is. A homologous series is a group of molecules with the same functional group, which is an atom or group of atoms that determine the chemical properties of a compound. The same chemical properties, the gradual variation of physical properties, which means when the chain length increases, the strength of the intermolecular forces increases, so more energy is needed to break them apart. This will lead to higher melting or boiling points. A few examples of homologous series include alkanes, alkenes, alcohols, and esters. Back to general formula. The general formula of alkanes is CnHn plus 2. Alkanes is CnH2n. Now let's see how we name organic compounds. When we name them, there are certain rules that we have to follow, set by UPAC. Firstly, there cannot be any spaces in the name. Next, you can split the name into two parts, the prefix and suffix. The prefix of the name would tell you the number of carbons in the molecule. The suffix of the name would tell you the functional group that the molecule is in. So let's say this molecule has three carbons and is an alkane. Its name would be prop, meaning 3, and ane, showing alkane, propane. Next, there's the problem of branch chains in one compound, like this. If so, the longest chain is the one that should be chosen for the name. In this case, 6, not 5. Here's the displayed formula for a molecule. When naming this, you will have to include the place where this double bond is, and where this branch is. With regards to the branch, we name it like this, since this is a CH3 structure, we would call it methane. Okay, back to the naming problem. The way we solve this is by numbering. So first start from the right and add numbers till the end. Then start from the left and add numbers. Choose the one with which gives the smallest number, in this case left to right, as it is 2 comma 3 opposed to 3 comma 4. Now that we know how to find the numbers, how do we write this as a name? Let's break it down. 5 carbon atoms, so pen. Double bond, so alkene, so ene. Double bond between 2 and 3, so we add it as pen 2 ene. Then the methyl branch from the third, so 3 methyl. The final answer is 3 methyl pen 2 ene. Let's change things up a bit. Let's say this was your molecule. If we count from left to right, the branch is at 2 and the double bond at 3. If we count from right to left, the double bond is at 2 and the branch at 3. In these cases, we give priority to the functional group over the branch. So it will be 3 methyl but 2 in and not 2 methyl but 3 in. Next, let's say there isn't a double bond, but there is another methyl branch. 
Then we get 2,3 dimethylbutane. Another thing you must notice is, if there is a number and a letter, it is separated by a dash, since remember, there can be no spaces. If there are two numbers, they are separated by a comma. Here are all the points you must know when it comes to naming organic compounds summarized. Well, that's all for today. If you preferred it instead of a whack in the face with your textbook, then like and consider subscribing.